Parents' choice. It's up to families to decide e-learning full or part-time. School districts are sending out questionnaires right now as schools begin to reopen, with some leaving in-classroom options off the table entirely. Morning Insider Tim McNicholas finds that for many, it's creating difficult decisions. Do you know what you're going to do? I, I don't. Parenting is full of tough decisions. Angela Hornoff is an ALSEP mom with a son at Stony Creek Elementary. She faces a tough one right now. They did try to do their best, but the solution doesn't seem very feasible. The school district recently gave parents at Stony Creek and other schools a choice. You could either send the kids to school a couple days a week and do remote e-learning from home for the other three days, or you could have the remote learning for all five days in a week. I don't know how I'm going to find someone to log my seven year old on to the computer every day and and have them help him. I don't get home till late at night. District 126 sent out an email with a survey on July 8th and asked parents to quote choose the option you're committing to by Monday the 13th. The superintendent tells me the choice can be changed later and the idea is for the school district to gather information on what parents want. He says due to capacity, all in-person learning is not a safe option yet, although an earlier district survey showed that's the most popular preference. Socially distant the best that we can. Maybe we can use alternate um, seating arrangements for the children. District U46 in Elgin is also planning an e-learning and in-person hybrid after surveying families. District 15 in Palatine is looking at two options, in-person with health and safety modifications or full-time online. Also in Palatine, District 211 is surveying parents on if they'd like in-person, online, or a hybrid. I'm stressed. I'm, I'm, I'm scared. Kristen Harvey is mom to a fourth grader at Stony Creek. I came to the point that I am going to keep her home all five. There's too many guidelines for her to even walk in the school that I just don't feel safe at all. That means Harvey will be at home with her during the day. Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. The District 126 superintendent tells Tim this is all still up in the air. He says state health guidelines for COVID-19 could also change their plans. We'll be sure to keep you updated on what the final decisions are.